Relationships are ways that we can constrain two different objects or sketch entities together. Now, there are a couple basic relationships that we're going to talk about. We're going to talk about horizontal, vertical, coincident, tangent, collinear, and concentric. So let me go through a couple of these. This green box indicates that that line has a horizontal relationship on it. So that means that I cannot rotate that part. For example, if I take this part or this line and I want to drag it around, I can drag it, but it always stays horizontal. If I click on this endpoint, I can't change it. I can move it up and down, but I can't rotate it. Now, if I get rid of this, if I delete the relationship, I can click on the relationship, delete it, the relationship is gone. Now I can click on this end and I can rotate that line. So let's look at a vertical relationship. I'm going to escape. I'm going to create a new line. Click on my line. If I go down, you can see the yellow box is showing a vertical line. That is going to add a vertical relationship on there. We can see the green box shows a vertical relationship. If we look over in the left hand side in the, the line properties panel, it shows that there is a vertical relationship on this line that's selected. Next, we're going to talk about coincident. Now, if I'm drawing a line, let's say I draw a line here, I'm going to put this here. I'm going to hit escape, exit my line tool. Now, let's say I want to put another line, but I want to start right at the end here, or I want to have this line come off of this line. And what you can see here is that there is a relationship that shows up and it looks like a line with a green dot in it. That is our coincident. So that shows the end of this line is on this other line. Tangent, we know, is between a line and a curved surface. So in this case, let's make this circle. And let's say I want to draw a line that's, that's going to be tangent to it. I want this line to be kind of start down here somewhere and be tangent to my circle. Well, I can see if I hover over my circle, it gives me a coincident uh, relationship, meaning that that line will stay connected to the circle, but I want it to be exactly tangent. Well, in this case, if I hover over that location where it should be tangent, you can see I get a coincident and a tangent relationship that show up here. So if I click on that, now that, and now I'm going to hit escape, this line is always going to remain tangent. So if I move this, that line will always remain coincident, meaning the endpoint will always be on that circle, and it will always remain tangent. I can also try to make the circle bigger and smaller, and it will always remain tangent and coincident. The next relationship is a collinear relationship. And this icon right above here is our collinear icon for the relationship. You can see as I hover over the collinear relationship, I have these two separate lines. Both of them line up. Basically, it's saying that those two lines are collinear, meaning they're both in a straight line. So now if I take one of these and I move it up and down, the other one will also move up and down because they are collinear. The next relationship we're going to talk about is concentric. In this case, I've created two circles and I've made them concentric. You can see the symbol for concentric circles are two circles that are concentric or within each other. As I hover over it, both circles highlight and show that they are concentric to each other. Now, the thing here is that if I take one of the circles, and I try to move the center point, both circles move because they are concentric. So in this case, I'm actually moving just one of the circles, but because of their concentric relationship, both circles move. So if I have a geometry that I always want to have the two circles always concentric, I don't need to worry about dimensioning them. I can just add the concentric relationship. To add relationships, first we need to have two sketch entities on the screen. I'm going to use the concentric relationship. 
So I'm going to make two circles here. As you can see, there are two independent circles on the screen, just hitting Escape to deselect. Now I want to add a concentric relationship to these two circles. To add a relationship, I'm going to come up here to the Add Delete Relations, click on the down arrow, and click on Add Relation. Our panel on the left-hand side says Select Entities. This is where we need to select two entities. And I'll give you a heads up. Sometimes you'll have something selected on the screen and it'll automatically show up in that box. So sometimes you'll need to hit Escape or you may have to delete that out of there. So we want to select this one circle and our other circle. Again, there's no relationships between them. And we want to make them concentric. So we can make those concentric. To complete the relationship, we need to click on the OK. Now the relationship has been added. I can hit Escape. Next, how do we delete a relationship? Again, I have our circle with a line with a tangent relationship. And I want to delete the tangent relationship off. What I'm going to do is I'm going to hover over the tangent relationship, click on it. It turns light blue. It shows that it's selected. And I will press the Delete key on the keyboard. It will delete that relationship. And now if I go and try to move this part, you can see that the, the tangent relationship is no longer there.